<laughs> that was more exciting than I thought it would be. In today's video, we are testing out an idea a lot of you wanted to see, making glue bubbles on a faucet. Guys, we had several dozen people send in a video, mostly on Instagram and a few other places, asking to see if it was true that you could take a certain brand of glue, put it on the end of your faucet, and have these weird plasticky glue bubbles formed just by turning on the water. It seemed really weird, like the result is sort of this like bubble stalagmite It looks formation. like something you'd find in the ocean, maybe. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's very bizarre, but the videos looked real, like they weren't highly produced to have like a super specific special effect made, so. Glue goes on faucet, water turns on, result. It seems pretty easy to test, so we wanted to do that, and then if we get a good result out of it, we want to try scaling it up and sideways and a few different things to see what else we can do with the same result. Here's the basic idea. A lot of you sent in requests to see if we could make glue bubbles on a faucet. This is used using a certain kind of glue and your bathroom sink. Let's see if we can make it work and what else we can do with it. So, so today's video is in the bathroom. We are here in the bathroom because the kitchen, while it does have a sink, it doesn't have the right kind of attachment on the faucet. It has like a sprayer head that moves around and that's not what we're trying to use. Uh, plus, we use that one a lot more and if the glue does something bad to the sink, this is easier to replace. This seems to be the specific type of glue. I assume this is Uhu or Yuhu. I don't think it's aha, uh -huh, but I guess maybe. It says it's made in Germany and I don't remember enough German to say it. I think that would just be Uhu. Oh, it is all in German. Like no, there's that's, no... This is some Slavic, that's not a German alphabet. Well, let's just try it. Let's yeah. take the glue and apply it and then turn on the water and see if we get the result we're supposed to. All right, let's go for it. Here we go, glue. And then once the glue is applied all over this nozzle, part of the whole bubbler system that makes water come out as like full of micro bubbles instead of just like a stream, like it probably will right now. The glue goes over there and then as the water comes out through all of those many tiny hexagons, it forms the weird bubble shapes. Three, two, one. <laughs> what? Well, there you go. There's our weird stalagmite bubbles. It's just holding itself on the faucet. All right, let's see if it comes off. Okay, that's bizarre. I have a feeling the rest of our day is going to be putting glue on faucets, as one does in a normal household. Now I got E6000 because visually it looks fairly similar. It's a clear, goopy glue. Clear, goopy glue. And it has, you know, it smells strongly, chemicals and all that. Um, so I was curious if it would work as well. Although, I do want to try this one more time. Uh, I want to apply a thicker layer of it, if I can. It's slightly runny stuff, so I don't know how thick of a layer I can get. Wow! What happens if you just put so much, just so much? Look at that. That's like one big bubble down there. I put on about as much as I thought I could get to stay without it just falling off, but I can just I'm just wondering if we take Pile a spoonful and just like glop it on. Totally safe. Yeah, now it's just running down the glue tube. That's as much as I can get on there. You know what? I'm happy with it. Is it different if you use hot water? Because you've been using cold water this whole time. Mm -hmm. Good thing to try. It's fun, we got like a little... Yeah, what happened here, my dude? It's like the shape of a Prince Rupert's drop in glue. Oh my gosh, you're holding a water droplet. <laughs> All right, there's a blob of the glue. This is really weird glue. Yep, I got some little uh, bags of water made out of glue. You know what it really smells like? Did you ever see those kits Little metal tubes, you, they'd be like at the grocery store. Little metal tubes and a straw, and you squeeze out a little bit of the goo, put and on the straw, mean, yes. and it like turns into like this inflatable balloon-like <laughs> thing. Yeah, it the, the glue like bubble. that. Huh, okay. And warm water, and three, two, one, go. Uh. I think it worked less well. I think the cold water was better. Every one of those like popped. <laughs> All right, trying E6000. Mmm, nope. 
<laughs> what, what, what even happened there? Did we just... Just kind of like... We just blocked up the, the side, sink. I think. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it doesn't react the same way. I've got another experiment to try. Mega syringe. Oh no, What what is your plan with that? <laughs> All right, here goes. Oh, too much pressure. I got like one tiny little bubble at the end of it. We're gonna make an extension. This is a piece of vinyl tube I like it. that I've stretched to accommodate the end of this faucet. Ooh, so I'm just gonna shorten this so it's only about that long and then I'm gonna get some screen mesh and put it over that to hold everything in place. <laughs> So that's already Lovely. dividing fairly delightfully. Same thing, we're just gonna see if the screen works the same way that the bubbler right on the faucet does. And it doesn't really matter if it gets ruined a bit. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I'd say it works. Yep, same sort of thing there. What else should we try? We should try with colored water or colored glue. Can we color the glue? We should color the glue. <laughs> All right, so something we wanted to try was see if we could actually make this colored. Now, we have this glue, but we were worried about using a liquid dye because we didn't know if that would catalyze it pretty much immediately. So this is fabric dye, but it's powder, something that you would mix in with water before you make it. Uh, fun fact about this though, I mean, obviously it's not gonna mix because it's not water. So there's just these little granules of color in here and we're not sure what'll happen when it hits the water from the sink. But this is something we didn't expect. I just put this in a, a plastic cup. The cup itself has started melting. Solvent based, but this is just bizarre. So I don't wanna be holding it for much longer. Uh, so we're gonna see what it does on the sink. It's kind of rainbowy. Not, not much though. Let's try. Yeah, we'll try it one more time because the uh, the tongue depressor is letting me put on pretty much a thick, even coat, which we weren't able to get with just the blue nozzle. So let's see what this does. Oh my gosh! Yes. Pretty Neat. Great. It's still growing. It it's is. still growing. Glorious. Okay, so the color is not getting through. Those little granules of uh, dye are pretty much trapped in the glue now. No color, just really, really entertaining bubbles. It is slightly stretchy, but a lot more delicate than you would think being glue. It does just sort of break. Very, very odd. Let's see what that does. Pretty much the same. Same thing. Same, same. We reached all the way to the bottom of the sink though that time. Gross. If people were trying this themselves, and I'm not saying they should, but if they were, then it definitely works better to like blob a bunch of it on at once than to try and squirt it on using the nozzle of the glue. <laughs> I want to scale up. All right. So here, I have a tall glass container. You sure and We've do. got mesh covering the whole thing. So I'm going to fill it with water, hmm? dry the mesh off, and then try and coat this whole mesh surface in the glue and then just pour it all out and see what it does. I like it. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's the no. biggest one we've made. That worked great. So I think as the water flowed out, air had to flow back in and the air flowing back in pushed some of the glue in the top so we actually had bubbles form inside as well as it was getting splashed with water. But look at that. Look at that. That's incredible. That sprays and squirts in every direction. That was amazing. Oh boy. <laughs> we're gonna try Mentos in Diet Coke and then so we're gonna try and have Callie drop a few in and I'm just gonna slam this down over the opening of the bottle immediately after she does that and we're gonna see if we can get like a Coca-Cola fountain of bubbles. There's absolutely no way that this could go horribly wrong. Nah, it's a flawless plan. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> that was more exciting than I thought it would be. Okay, I'll go help you now. That was so much better than I was hoping well, for. Well, we got some bubbles <laughs> and then very quickly the Diet Coke 
exploded way past the bubbles. Maybe we should have done one <laughs> Mentos, <laughs> not three. Okay. Every time we try for a Diet Coke and Mentos reaction, we, we want it to do that. It. It's never done that. A lot of it landed on the back of my shirt. Some in my hair. I like that I just took off and left you to fend for yourself. There was, there was nothing else for you to do, and there was nothing else for me to do. All we, right. We made this I'm, bed. I'm going to get you a towel. Mm, that might be good. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for today. But you know, we've always got more for you. See, that box up at the top is going to take you to our most recent video. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.